Last week, the U.S. dollar finished the week mixed despite higher inflation data from the U.S. The British pound was the biggest loser of the week, knocked down by increasing odds of a no-deal Brexit, and it's likely that the rising cases of coronavirus infections in the U.K. brought pressure to the British pound as well. Welcome to the Tickmill Update. I'm Kenna Danielle, the founder of the Investiva Movement. Make sure to subscribe to the Tickmill YouTube channel and support us by liking and sharing this video with your Forex trading friends. On Monday, we're not expecting any high-risk events besides Australia's RBA meetings and a bunch of data from China, including their retail sales and an unemployment rate. Today, I'm looking at the Aussie dollar pair which lost its bullish momentum last week and is now consolidating below the 0.74 resistance level and the Ichimoku cloud on the 4-hour chart. The key support levels are at the 23% and 38% from last retracement levels of 0.72 and 0.71 respectively. And unless we see a brand new bullish momentum, the pair is likely to head down towards these support levels being under current pressures. Will you be shorting the Aussie dollar pair this week? Head over to the comment section and let me know. Of course, trading the financial markets involves a risk of loss and you should only trade the money that you can afford to lose. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and I'll get back to you with more updates tomorrow.